Hey there, my name is Dimitri and in this video, we're gonna dive into how you can absolutely improve the way that you learn things this upcoming school year. I know we're already there and it's crazy how quick it came, but this year is going to be that year where whether you're in business or at work, in your personal life, at school, you can tackle this year with a much better way of getting access to information and combining them in a beautiful and structured platform like Scrintle. This is simply the best platform to learn and grow. Thank you to Scrintle for sponsoring this video. So I've covered Scrintle a couple times before on this channel and I feel like on the website it shows pretty plainly here uh, what a lot of you are probably going through. You're frustrated because everything's scattered, right? You're attempting to learn things. You're attempting to put together your workflows, your knowledge, and it's hard to make connections between these things. But what I'm gonna show you is a great way in order for you to learn and grow like I have using Scrintle. So for example, I'm gonna go into my Scrintle account and I'm gonna show you how I can actually get some of these ideas put together. So if I go to my desk here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually showcase to you how I would approach learning about a new subject material using Scrintle. So I'm gonna add a board here, cool. So inside this board, I can essentially make multiple cards. So let's say I wanna learn about the subject of running science. I then have the ability to do the following. I can make multiple cards where inside those cards themselves, I can put more information. So I'm just gonna categorize it into a couple different things. I know about things like the following, easy runs, do long runs, workouts, and lifting for injury prevention, okay? So all of these different categories are things that I wanna learn more about. And inside of this, I can essentially go and research different things and put the information in here. So let's come back in a moment when I've kind of gone through and added the different structure here. Okay, now we've kind of added some context here, right? So we talk about how easy runs, there's an explanation for it. It's easy runs are low intensity at 60% of your max maximum heart rate, gives you the scientific effects, gives you an example, and then some sources to go along with it. So this is this is all great stuff. And I love that I can essentially make this board and learn about this and actually get more deep into it, right? So I put some explanations, I put some examples, but what if I really want to go further with this? What I would do is I could maybe connect this to something like uh, action items to take slash things to learn. And I can do this for each of these categories, right? So let's say, for example, if I go full screen here, Let's do a H1, H2, action items to take, things to learn, right? And then from within this, I could make a, if I do two brackets in opposite directions, I can make a to-do list, right? So I would probably put the action items for the action items to take and the things to learn could be links to articles. Like for example, I wanna learn about Jack Daniels distance running formula on opinions regarding Easy runs, action items to take, plan days of the week to do easy runs, okay? Now, this is interesting because I can replicate this process really easily, right? Like obviously this is a duplicable kind of format. And if I simply have categories where I'm putting the explanation, putting the research, and then figuring out the action items to take regarding them, I can just go through and change simply the tasks associated to them, okay? So we'd have things like plan days of the week to do long runs. Jack Daniels is probably the most for thought person on uh, running science, by the way. And then another action item that's important is soft surfaces are great for running. So figure out place to do long runs by me that has soft surfaces on the website traillink.com. Okay, and I could hyperlink that by copying the link, going back to Scrintle, and I could paste it out or could hyperlink it right here, add a link, and boom. You see it would bring me to traillink.com. And I can go through the rest of these, Plan days of the week to do workouts, learn different types of workouts. And same here. I wanna learn the lifting side of it. Opinions on lifting or running prevention. Plan days to lift. All right. And all of this process is great because if I ever wanna like cross-reference something like the action items to take and the research, I can absolutely do it and I could have multiple of these open at once because of the way that Scrintle is formatted, right? So I could cross-reference injury prevention, lifting versus workouts. What do they mean? Put different uh, sources next to each other, see where there's like alignment. As you can see, Jack Daniels in here for workouts. 
or it's somebody else for these other sources. And if you replicate this style, right, where you essentially have categories of things you're trying to learn and then figure out action items to take. So say I wanted to learn something similar to that, but more like weightlifting science or maybe diet and exercise, diet for running, right? I wanna learn about the science of like running here and the science of dieting for running too. So let's copy and paste this format. And all I'd have to do would be to duplicate here and then very simply adjust this top section for different categories, you know, like time to eat, actual food, meal preparation, and anything else. And then follow that same format of what are the action items to take and what are the things to learn about the category. And you replicate that, you combine it together, you can actually learn so much by more visualizing how these things are connected rather than having them in their own little page buckets. And that's why I like being able to double click and open them and see how they're actually connected. So if you're looking to learn more in the upcoming year, whether it be for school or work, please try out Scrintle today. Thank you again to Scrintle for sponsoring this video. Really great stuff for helping you visualize things and I know it'll be great for you. With that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one.